Hey, what's up? For the last month and a half, I have been unemployed. I have gone through a serious course of thoughts and emotions over the last month and a half. When I first got laid off, I was very excited. I was ecstatic because at the current role I was at, uh, the organization was great. The people I worked with were awesome. The environment was awesome. But the job itself was starting to get boring. I was doing the same thing for two years and just going to that desk and doing the same thing over and over again was starting to get tiring. Uh, it wasn't challenging anymore. I hit a plateau. There was nothing new and exciting every day. And at that particular location, there didn't really seem like there was that much room for advancement in the company. Um, I could move up in that company easily, but in order to do that, I would have to move quite far away in order to do that. So when I first got laid off, it was it was pretty awesome. It, uh, all right, I felt pretty euphoric. But the problem with that was... Even though my mind, my logical part of my mind said, oh, I need a job, I need money, I need to find something else right away, I had this idealistic notion in my mind that I was going to find the perfect career path or the perfect thing. And, um, I mean, over this month and a half, it's been great because I've been finding out what I want to do with my life rather than what I'm qualified for because... I mean, I'm qualified for tech support jobs and customer service jobs, which which are great, but I realize what I really am passionate about and really what I want to do, and I've talked about this before, is doing more life coaching or helping people or even being someone who is a trainer. I really like the fact of educating people or uh, I like educating people or taking a person from point A to point B or help them realize what they want to do with their life or what their goals are and what are the steps to reach those. That's really what I've been thinking of that I, that would bring me a lot of fulfillment. So I started off my unemployment with wanting the perfect job, the perfect career opportunity and realizing that my perfect career choice is going to take some training. It's going to take some time to build because I ultimately would like to run my own business where I help people or um, be a therapist or even a life coach or find a really good organization where I could be a trainer and, and training in something I'm very passionate of. If I, I, I think it would be great to train something more technical because I like technical things, but after a while I'd probably get pretty bored of it because, uh, I don't know, I don't really, like I'm, I'm helping people understand technical stuff, but it's not really, and, and that helps them out, but it's not bringing them to the next level in, in realizing what they want to do with their life, I guess. So... I started out having a lot of mental blocks. I started sleeping, like developing a lot of bad habits, partying way too much with my friends, um, and hanging out with. And it was great because I got to meet so many new people in the last month and and hang out with so many different friends. But that started to wear off when I started sleeping until three in the morning and partying a little too often and hanging out with friends and not taking responsibility for the things I had to do every day. I told myself I was going to do that, those activities like look for jobs, write resumes every single day, but I did more procrastinating than anything. I'm at the point where the partying isn't fun anymore because I'm too stressed out and concerned about jobs, so like hanging out with people just isn't even as fulfilling because Let's face it, when you're unemployed for a month and a half, life starts to get boring. Like, my day-to-day -day life, besides hanging out with people, gets pretty boring. So I'm, I'm getting to the point where I have nothing to talk about. It's just, ah. Uh. Um, so today, I saw a video, or I, I noticed that Shea Carl started Shade Shaytember? Shaytober. Shaytober where every day during a month he works towards a physical goal of his and his is to lose like something like 24 pounds within the month 
and he's taking a he's making a vlog every day of his progress towards that and he talks about his goals and set goals for the month and for the 31 days he's trying to really influence other people to do and make changes in their own life and set their goals and and make progress of that and I'm at that point now. I usually go through phases where I just say, fuck it, I'm just going to do whatever I want. And then I realize that lifestyle isn't really benefiting me that much. And then I'll be really hard on myself and start setting goals every day. And then I'll burn myself out and then say, fuck it, I'm going to party. And That's a pretty bad um, wavelength that I'm on. But nonetheless, I'm on the wavelength of trying to put my life back together and be organized and be more action oriented. I've been very passive lately, just letting things happen and go with the flow. And now I'm having all of these things that I got to do and it's, it's not fun. So, you know, um, today my goal, this has been going for a while. Today my goal is to, I, I'm trying to set a fairly high standard here. I'm been getting back into running and exercising. So, I'm going to go for a 10 kilometer run. That is my goal. And halfway through, I'm going to take a break and do 50 push ups. That is my physical goal for today. And the rest of the day is applying for jobs, and I have to get back to a few people on email. And those are, that's what I have to get done today. From that point on, I could do more or I could just take a break and have fun. But those are my solid goals for the day. And that's what I'm going to get done. I'd also like to get a lot of other stuff done, like I'd like to write songs. I like to do art. I'd like to. D My problem is I have so many ideas, I don't know where to start, and really, I'm learning the hard way that I need to prioritize my shit or I'm going to go nuts. Anyway. I will see you guys. What I'm going to do for the next month, I'm start. I'm not starting Shaytober at the start of the month like he is, but I'm going to keep track of Shaytober. And I know Mike Thomas is also doing a similar thing where he's trying to build new habits by doing, uh, uh, I think he's on day 15 of his project that he's doing. He's trying to do things like Kui Jong. Am I pronouncing that right? Um, and get up a lot earlier every single day and fight those voices that try to hold you back that say, no, maybe later. I'm going to do this first. For me, that, that, that's I get distracted very easily. I'll, I'll say, okay, I'm going to do this now, but first I'm going to do this and watch a little TV. Or first, uh, I need a meal. I'm going to eat the meal first. And, I don't know. Distraction. I gotta get used to being less distracted and uh, a little less rambly apparently because this is an eight and a half minute video. Anyway, I'm going to continue to do these every day. I'm going to do a before and after. So I have my goal of 10 kilometers. This is before my 10 kilometer run. And I will check back with you later today for the aftermath of my 10 kilometer run and what I've learned from the experience or something. I'll just, I'll, I don't know, I'll make a video after I run and talk about whatever. Alright, see ya.